Welcome to Polic Talks at RPTV. My name is Gisela Torres and today we're going to talk about the budget 2018. And we have a special guest who is Natalie de Rosier, the Minister of the Natural Resources and Forestry. So welcome. Yeah, it's a great pleasure. Yeah, my pleasure too. So we're just going to talk about a little bit of the budget mm -hmm. of this year. You know, it's like a controversy topic. Um, we want to know, her the, one of the questions is, uh, what is the priority of the Ministry of the Natural Resources and Forestry with the budget 2000? In our budget, uh, if you are a minister, what you're looking for is ensuring that your ministry has the money that is necessary for it to complete its mandate. Mm -hmm. And the mandate of the Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry is to ensure that we protect nature that we support forestry and that we ensure that we continue to have good forests around Ontario and also that we have good relationship with the indigenous peoples of Canada. So, and in the budget, I was very reassured that uh, we have the money that is necessary for us to do our, uh, our work. So that was the first priority. There's also a special envelope. We ask for special projects and we have a special project to help increase the number of conservation areas in Ontario. Mm -hmm. You know, to really protect nature, we want to create more places where there are additional parks or, or places where nature is well protected. Okay, that's perfect. And what are the requirements to be part of the education program? At the ministry, well, yes. at, at the ministry, it's, we are supporting lots of biologists, lots of people that have good science background to know what is necessary to protect nature. So people that are specialists in, uh, in the land, in the fish, in, in also all the animals, the caribous, the mooses. Uh, so we are looking for biologists. We also need people that are forestry experts that know how to deal with the forest. We have, need engineers and we need people in communications as well <laughs> to make sure Perfect. that the public, yes, for, to make sure that the public knows uh, what we're doing. It's always very important. And um, how the ministry is going to support all the budget for this year? Well, the way in which we continue to work, we have many programs uh, mm -hmm. that are at the ministry, so we are going to continue to operate as we are. We are responsible for the Endangered Species Act, which means that we have to make sure that uh, the species that are at risk are well protected. So we constantly talk to different developers or people that are out in the field, ensuring that they know what to do if mm -hmm. they found an endangered species. So that's part of what we do. Uh, do you think that the higher taxes um, nowadays with the, for the smokers mm -hmm. is going to improve the pollution and also is going to help the environment and the fishes and the species in risk? Well, I think when we uh, have additional taxes on smoking, it's mostly to deter people from smoking. It's for okay. health benefits. Okay. And certainly health benefits are also good for uh, the environment in a sense that what, when we talk about uh, protecting the environment, this budget was certainly at protecting the environment, but also giving good opportunities for Ontarians. It's a little bit preparing us for what do we need in the future to be there. So good opportunities for an Ontarian and really that they have access to good health care and good education. And I want to talk a little bit about that because it's very important. A core aspect of the budget was to ensure that people that don't have the means to go to university or post-secondary education, colleges, can. It's very important because we don't want to leave any talents behind. We need all talents to be there in Ontario. Okay, and now we're talking about education. So every student, I mean, will a student who other from other countries have the free tuition too? No, to to be to qualify for uh, free tuition, you need to be a permanent resident okay. of Canada. But in the budget, it does say that we have a strategy for international students. We want to welcome them to Canada, but that they be well supported when they are in Canada, so can, they can decide whether they want to go back and contribute to their country or some, some of them may want to stay here, which happens often, and then they become permanent resident and then they are eligible for funding. 
So, mm -hmm. But this is a plan in long term, right? Yes, it's, it's certainly I think we always want to plan long term in a budget. Mm -hmm. We also want to have more skilled labor, so more internship. You and I were talking about internship. It's very important that we provide people that are in secondary school, in college, in university, the opportunity to apply their knowledge. Mm -hmm. That's what you know uh, people want. They want to be in the real world, you know, know how yeah, it yeah. works. And then uh, actually they are better ab able to actually contribute to society. So what are the challenges now, the main challenges for the ministry right now? Well, we always are uh, concerned when, uh, when you're trying to protect the environment, we always are worried about climate change. So for us, we continue to have great challenges to ensure that we have good scientific information about what's the impact on climate change on different species, on different animals, on different fishes, on the birds, mm -hmm. and then have the right instrument to make sure that we protect them adequately. So that's one of the challenges. You know, we need good environmental and scientific data. And what is the first step to grow the economy and create good jobs? Because you know that is the, one of the keys of the project and the budget for this year. Yeah, the, a key pro. It's called of care and of opportunity. Mm -hmm. So we really want to create opportunity. And I think the key to uh, creating good opportunities in Ontario is the people is the, the people we want to have well-educated, well-prepared, resilient, in good health population that can create jobs, that can innovate, that can invent new things, invent new technology to make sure that we are there to uh, have enough wealth for everyone. So, so one of the aspects of the budget that was very important was to create free childcare for children two and a half mm -hmm. to four in a couple of years. And that's very important because that- 2020? 2020, you're mm -hmm. right. And so you've read the budget very well. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. So what we are trying to do is, is ensure that uh, all these young children will, will be well prepared to enter school. Mm -hmm. And also it provides the family with the opportunity to go back to work and to pay a little bit less in childcare fees, which are often very expensive. So we wanted to make life a little bit more affordable and ensure that all, everyone, can have good access to good childcare so they're well prepared to go in school. So what is the invitation for the people? Until just told them that, uh, what is the main purpose of this budget? And why they should be agree with that? Well, uh, the main uh, purpose of the budget is to prepare Ontarians and Ontario for the future. So it invests in good health care, mental health, good senior care for the older adults. We, you know, they've worked hard in Ontario and we want to make sure that they're well looked after. Mm -hmm. There's lots of good things for people that, uh, for the young people, so they are prepared, enthusiastic, and ready to serve their country and their province. That's what we want to do. We want to care, but we want to provide also good mm -hmm. opportunities. Okay, well, thank you to our special <laughs> guest, uh, our, the Minister of the Natural Resources and Forestry, Nathalie de Rousseau. And well, we just did a quick look of the high legs uh, the, of the budget 2018, and there is free prescription drugs, better mental health care, free preschool childcare, and shorter wait times for care. So, thank you for being with us. Oh, my God.